Okay, so this is a double Mayan harmony flute. Um, and first thing is you want to make sure your totems are in the right spot, but these are on the pins. So it has the little pins there. Should be very easy to just make sure it's in the right spot for both of them. Make sure it's just not, you know, crooked to the side or something, just centered there. And they're both centered. Okay, easy. Um, so when you play, there's a couple ways to play. You can start by on your right side, the, the larger side, just have two, right? So that's going to match the tone of this side when all the holes are closed. So two, four. So when I play um, this side, I'm going to keep the, these four closed. And when I play this side, the small side, I'm going to keep these two closed. So that's one playing mode. Another one is to match the holes. So I'm just simply playing the same on each side. It helps to start in a mirror. Um, go in front of a mirror and, and don't do this with the pads. Like you want to keep the, keep, see how my fingers are flat, not like this. So the cuticles are roughly centered above the holes. And this is adjustable. So make sure you put that where you want your pinky to go. That's why it, the seam is there. So you can make that pinky reachable. So now I'm going to do both. I'm going to start here. The first thing I showed you, go to the second one and then end the phrase with the tones matching. Another way is to play with one finger lower on the left side. So I have one finger on the left side. I can go up, but watch when I go down. I have an extra one on the left side. And it goes to uh, three down on the left side, two on the right. And then you can end the phrase once again like this. Uh, as the first thing I showed you. And then once again, I could hop down to this. And now here's the kind of the angelic sound. These are my favorite sounds the flute makes, but one on the left, zero on the right, and then add, add, subtract, subtract. Once again, I can end the phrase here. So if you want to play in the major mode, watch this. I'm going to open these. Now I got three on the left side, on the small side, and zero on the right. I'll do the same style as the first thing I showed where either these are all going to be open and I'll play this side, or these three are going to be open and I'll play this side. So watch. I can tilt my head and you'll hear the flute make different pulsing sounds. So you want to make sure you're getting even air in both the holes and then you can adjust the, the airflow by tilting the flute. If the flute stops sounding funny, check here. Maybe there's some moisture in there. Wipe it off and then just put it back on your pins and make sure it's straight. If the flute's cool, it'll collect moisture. That's normal. Once it warms, which it should warm quickly due to this specific woods I've chosen to, to make them warm fast from your breath, it will play for a while without collecting moisture. There's also bamboo inserts under the antler because they warm up fast, so then moisture doesn't collect there either. Um, so you'll see that on your flute. So it's on the pins, it's back in. Um, back to this one, so it's three on the left, zero on the right. I can go here again. We'll call this the angelic style. 
So I do the, the angelic style, then I'll end like this. Um, you can do tapping. That's more advanced. You can do it in any way on any part of the flute. You can watch this video incrementally also, not all at one time. Um, you can roll your tongue. Or you can hum. Or both. Now go. I'm going to slowly go through all the things I showed. Here's what we started with. Then this one. Then this one. Then this one. Now I'm going to play between them all so you can get an idea how to use these different modes, which you can learn individually one at a time, right? Go through, learn each one separately. Take a couple days on each one. And then after a while, you can mix them together like this. So that's a lot of what this flute can do um, and it's collapsible so when I take it off I usually twist it one way and then when I put it on I twist it the other way. If this ever gets a little bit loose you can just take some thin super glue and just put the tiniest bit in there and it'll, it'll tighten it up. Um, this one same comes off, goes on. So that is the double Oh, and also when you're done, you want to take these off, right? Just put them to the side, should come off. Then if there's moisture in here, you want to shake it out. You could even blow it, water your plants or something. No, <laughs> but you want to let that air out when you're done playing. So much love uh, to you all and enjoy your flutes. Have a wonderful day.